Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten. This is a follow-up video to my tutorial on how to create business cards with Photoshop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to print your business cards at home. So I have a very simple card design here that I created in Photoshop. And to print these at home, what we wanna do is we wanna take this card and we wanna place it on a standard size sheet of paper. So I'm going to go to File, New. I'm gonna make my width 8.5 inches. I'm gonna make my height 11 inches and the resolution will be 300. So this is our standard sheet of paper here in America. Your sheet of paper might be different if you live in another country. If you're printing these online, you would normally leave an eighth of an inch bleed along the edges for the ink to bleed over. But since we're printing at home, let's create a border so we know where to cut. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm gonna call it border. I'm gonna select white and then just fill this with white using Shift F5 to fill. I'm gonna change the blend mode to multiply. That'll make white disappear. Then I'm going to add an effect down in the layers palette for stroke. I'm gonna put that stroke on the inside and I'm gonna make it pretty small. Let's just say one pixel. Let's turn the opacity down a little bit. So you'll just barely be able to see this line and that will help you when you're cutting these cards. So now let's go ahead and bring this card over to our sheet of paper. Let's right click on the group. Let's choose duplicate group. We'll move it to untitled one. That's that new document. If we go over there, we'll see that it's now been placed. So the goal here is to fit as many cards as we can on this one sheet of paper. So I have this one card. If I hold Alt and I drag, I can drag a clone. If I hold Alt and Shift together, that will keep it from moving up or down. So what I wanna do is I just wanna snap one card to the edge of the other card. I'm gonna select both of these cards by holding Shift and I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift again and drag. And I'm gonna do that multiple times just to create as many cards as I can. So it looks like I can get about 10 cards on this page of paper. Now we don't want them to be right on the edge because there's gonna be a little bit of a margin where the printer won't put any ink around the edge of the paper. So I'm going to select all of those cards together. I'm going to group them into a single group and then I'm just going to go ahead and center that on the page. That way there's a little bit of margin around the edges. Now. It's a lot easier just to go ahead and order cards online because the real hassle isn't really in printing the cards, it's in cutting the cards. Uh, at the very least, you'll have to use some scissors and I guarantee you, your cards are not gonna come out straight even if you have really steady hands and you're really good with scissors. You can use a paper cutter, which has a straight edge and will make things a lot easier, but again, you might miss a little bit of this area and you might have a little bit of border showing or one card might be bigger than the other. You can get specialty perforated paper for business cards, but it may require that you follow a particular tutorial to get it to line up on the page, and then when you tear the cards off, they have a little bit of a jagged edge, as you would imagine perforated paper would. So I recommend to avoid printing these on your own, because in my experience, that's difficult. You can order cards from Vistaprint or Zazzle, or you can go to a local printer like FedEx Kinko's, and that'll make things a lot easier. But if you wanna print at home, that's fine. I'll go ahead and continue showing you how to do that. So next I'm going to go to File and Print. Now let's take a look at some of our print settings. You wanna make sure that the printer you're using is selected. Mine is. You can choose the number of copies. I'm just gonna do one copy. We want the layout to be upright as it is here in portrait mode. And let's click on Print Settings. You'll want to select the paper type. I'm using HP Bright White paper, but you may be using something like a thicker specialty paper if you're gonna be printing on cardstock. I recommend that you print on cardstock because a regular piece of paper will be too floppy and too fragile. You can choose the quality settings. If you're using a pretty simple design, you might wanna use draft or better. If you're using a more photorealistic design or something with a lot of colors, you're gonna to wanna to choose best. And then of course, if you're printing in black and white, choose black and white. If not, then choose color. This is just gonna be a print for demonstration purposes and I don't wanna waste my ink, so I'm just gonna print in black and white as a draft. Click on okay. And then we'll go ahead and click print. Now it's going to say that the image is larger than the paper's printable area. Some clipping will occur. Don't worry about that because we've left this nice margin along the edges. So we can just click on proceed. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can print your business cards at home. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video.
And if you enjoy all these free tutorials I'm making, go on over to patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten and make a donation to help me continue making videos like this possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.